Hi guys, in this video we're going to be using R to create a histogram. So let's take a look at our data set first. So using the head command we're going to look at the first six observations of our data set US melanoma. And as you can see in this data set we have four variables. Now the variable we're interested in making a histogram of is the mortality variable. So in order to jump right in it we type the hist command the name of our data set and the name of the variable we're interested in and voila we get a frequency histogram and as you can see on the y-axis we have frequency now if you wanted a probability or density as it's often referred to here instead of frequency we could use a command inside the same command we just made freak equals false and if we take a look now we have density instead of frequency now there's a couple other commands that uh, this function hist has and in order to take a look at all those and and play I would I recommend to play around with all those type help open parentheses hist and you'll get the documentation and I know the documentation isn't always uh, that intuitive but uh, you can play around with some of the functionality and see what things are useful a lot of the things are really uh, very esoteric and not useful but there are some things in there that might be of use for example the n class command you were, allows you to actually set the number of classes in uh, for your, in other words, the number of buckets that your data will fall into. Here, this is actually, it, by default, the uh, um, R will choose a uh, pretty decent uh, size for each one of these buckets. But if you want to override that and put something of your personal preference, there's also the ability to do that with the N class command. And there are other commands as well. So I encourage you to play around with those. This video, we wanted to just get a real basic introduction and create a quick histogram with our data. And so I uh, hope this was helpful. Uh, in the following video, I'm going to show you how to create a histogram of the same variable mortality, but at different levels of a factor variable. So for example, a histogram of mortality, but only for states that have an ocean level of yes. So in other words, include only these guys I've boxed in and do not include no's. So be sure to watch the next video. In the meantime, subscribe to my channel, check out my other Excel, Access, PowerPoint, Math, Statistics, and other computer tricks tutorial videos, and click on our sponsor's ads. That's what keeps these videos coming to you for free. Till next time, have a great day.